Welcome. I'm Chef Philip. And I'm Coach Dyer. Today we're going to talk about healthy things that start with the letter A. A is for apples, agility, and aerobic exercise. An apple is a fruit produced by an apple tree. And there are more than 7,500 different kinds of apples in the world. And I have a few right here. The gala apple is very high in flavonoids, which have been shown to improve heart health. And you should always eat the skin of a red delicious apple. The whole apple is good for you, but the skin contains most of the nutrients. Granny Smith apples have green skin and are good for cooking. If you like a tart apple, then this is the one for you. All apples are low in calories, high in fiber and vitamin C. Apples contain important minerals and antioxidant compounds. Regular consumption of apples is thought to protect against both heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Here's the fun fact. In the Chinese culture, the word for apples is pronounced as ping, which sounds like the Chinese word for peace. Therefore, apples are a favorite gift to give when visiting in China. Thank you. China produces more apples than any other country, providing more than 40 million tons of apples per year. And the U.S. comes in a distant second, producing only 5 million tons. The average person in the U.S. consumes 45 pounds of apples and apple products each year. And I'm not talking about your tablets. Apples can be found in grocery stores year-round. Apples stored in the refrigerator can keep as long as eight weeks. But if your apples are not quite ripe enough, leave them out on the counter. They ripen six to 10 times faster at room temperature. One of the best ways to eat an apple is just to take a big bite. Don't peel your apples. Remember, the skin is healthy for you. We use apples in all kinds of recipes, cooked in things like pies, muffins, and raw in all sorts of salads. And today we're gonna to learn how to make coleslaw salad with apples. We have some ingredients here for you to taste, but don't taste them just yet. Okay, so to make the slaw, we need honey, sugar, vinegar, cilantro, and coleslaw mix. And of course, apples. And today I'm gonna to use green. First, we're gonna prepare the dressing. In front of you, we have a cup labeled number one. This is the dressing mix. So go ahead and pick it up and take a little sip. Delicious. Sweet, sour. It's gonna make everything taste really good. Okay, so to make the dressing, we're gonna need a big bowl and a whisk. And so we'll add our vinegar first. Then our sugar. And then the honey. You may have to squish the cup to get the honey out. And then we whisk away. And the point of the whisking is to make sure that all of the sugar dissolves. And remember, if you don't have a whisk, you can always just use a fork. Okay, next, make sure a grown-up is always with you to keep you safe when using a knife. Knives are important tools, but they can also hurt you. It's time to cut the apples. First, we're gonna cut it in half, and then cut down the sides thinly, and then take some of these wedges and slice them into a cut called julienne. Julienne is a very specific cut, often referred to as matchsticks as well. All set. You have another cup in front of you, cup number two. And in that is cilantro. And about 10% of the population, cilantro actually tastes like soap, but most of us enjoy it. You've probably had it in things like pico de gallo or salsa before. Okay, now that we have the apples, we can go ahead and start putting together our slaw. We'll go straight into the dressing mix so we don't give the apples any chance to turn brown. Let's give it a quick toss. Okay. Then we'll add our cabbage. Next, we're gonna rough chop some cilantro. Rough chop just basically means a few cuts. We don't wanna bruise the, the herb or damage it in any way by cutting it too much. So, just a couple of chops. And we'll go into the slaw. Okay, now that we have the cilantro and all of the rest of the ingredients in the bowl, let's give it a good couple tosses. 
and make sure all of the flavors really start to melt together. Okay, in cup number three, we have some slaw ready to go for you. So let's try it. It's interesting how the flavors of all the ingredients are better together than they are separately. Apples are available year round. Apples contain fiber and other important nutrients, and they're thought to prevent disease. Apples are found in many delicious recipes, and I hope you'll go home and make some applesaw with your family. Next, we're gonna learn about some agility and aerobic exercise with Coach Dyer. Now that we have fed our body, we're going to exercise it. A is for apples, agility, and aerobic exercise. Jumping rope is a great tool for improving your agility and aerobic capacity. Jumping rope incorporates physical conditioning, timing, and hand-eye foot coordination. It's a total body workout that focuses on strengthening your heart, arms, legs, back, shoulders, and core muscles. It can also help improve your reflexes. Jumping rope can build bone strength because it uses your own body weight as resistance. Resistance training helps build bone density, and while you may not be worried about osteoporosis now, your body will thank you in the future for working to build bone strength. It doesn't matter if it's complex jumping or basic jumping, just get jumping. There are jump rope games that can be played with friends or ones that you can do on your own. Long rope games can be played with as few as two players or with your whole class. To play snake, one person slithers the rope along the ground and jumpers take turns jumping over the rope. If a jumper touches the snake, then they get to be the snake. And to play banana split, two players called holders will hold the rope and turn it towards the line of players. The players run through the rope one at a time, trying not to touch it. If you touch the rope, then you go to the end of the line and try again. Now let's try jumping. And start turning and then you guys are just jumping over. Perfect! Y'all are awesome! Now let's learn about using your own jump rope. You can bounce one time. You can bounce twice with every time you turn the rope. You can jump on one foot or you can alternate feet. You don't have to jump in place, you can travel. You can do all these things while turning the rope backwards. It's fun to see if you can jump as many times as you are old. Can you do that on one foot? Let's use a stopwatch. How many times can you jump in 20 seconds? And here's a great one, jump to music. Can you jump to the beat? Diet and exercise are both important for good health. Remember your A's, apples, agility, and aerobic exercise.